We've been really digging in on what Uber's been pulling over these concerts for the past week. I mean, they did it in Phoenix, and then they did it in Vegas. Vegas riders are still out there complaining. The drivers are still complaining. People are pretty hot about what happened. And I was one of the drivers that was here in Phoenix, and I was like, I'm going to go out here, see if I can get some rides on the outskirts, see what happens. Uber was charging, and Lyft, they were charging ungodly prices for these rides. And the traffic was insane. It was crazy. Now, in Vegas, they couldn't be charged, you know, because they got the Hurricane Hillary going on out there. They couldn't be charged all this money. So what they did was said, you guys cannot charge surge pricing at any events you got going on in Vegas because of this state of emergency. Of course, Uber did it any damn ways. And I got a little video clip that I'm going to show you how the news out there, a lot of riders and drivers started contacting the news because they was like, wait a minute, we think we're getting played. Uber's doing something to us. So they all contacted, you know, the news. They contacted the state of Nevada. And state of Nevada got involved. The news got involved. Uber started issuing refunds to riders. They didn't give a driver anything. They started giving all the refunds back to the riders. Now, with all the overcharges, nobody was probably tipping because, you know, a lot of drivers was out there doing the best they can do, getting pennies on a dollar. And people were like, well, shit, man, I'll tip you five dollars, maybe two dollars, you know, this. And it wasn't making out. Nobody was making any money. Like one lady, Stacy, she made like 160 bucks when she normally makes four or five hundred. But because of the no surge policy, they weren't paying out surges to drivers. So the state of Nevada had to get involved. And now they got it to where anybody can contact the state of Nevada to it to get you a refund from Uber if Uber hasn't given you a refund yet as a rider. Drivers, as always, don't get shit. Because that's just what happens to the drivers. Even when they do the when they did the big lawsuit years ago for the tips and everything, and Lyft was found out to be uh, stealing tips, Uber was found, out, found out to be stealing tips, what happened? They refunded all the riders. They didn't give the driver shit. It never happens to where drivers get a benefit from anything. When I tell you, these apps don't give a fuck about you. I mean that. And a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying when I say it. If they gave two shits about you, they would say, instead of us overcharging all these people, let's give a refund to all the riders of what we shouldn't have charged them. And let's give a drivers at least $15 extra per ride they did from the concert just because we know they was hammered down with traffic and shit like that. You know what? But you know these apps ain't never going to do that because they don't give a shit about drivers. I say that all the time. People don't understand what I mean when I say it. Look at how everything is lined up to where they will do anything of what it takes to keep riders on their platform and will kick drivers off because they don't give a shit about the drivers. This is the news article I read right here. Looks like the state of Nevada started cracking down on what Uber was pulling over the weekend. Out in Vegas, they said Uber riders receive refunds from busy weekend. So a spokesperson with Uber says that they haven't found that drivers were compensated incorrectly. Now, if you go down, it says, however, that did not find some riders were overcharged trips for the weekend. So they're saying the drivers weren't compensated incorrectly, but riders were charged wrong. So when you go down to read more, it says you can see the receipt for one rider charged over one hundred and seventy five dollars on Sunday, but was refunded one hundred and twenty eight dollars. So they're saying drivers got paid what drivers should have got paid, but riders were being overcharged. And we've been saying they've been charging these riders way too much money. We've been saying that shit. So now you go through, it says in the message, Uber tells a the rider they were overcharged due to technical issues on its end. Now, because we are under a state of emergency due to Tropical Storm Hillary, it is against the law for Uber to charge surge pricing. But they were still charging surge pricing, but not paying people surge pricing. Drivers suspected something was off for the amount of customers were paying for rides and started demanding answers from Uber about why they weren't compensated more over that busy weekend. So Uber's been completely silent. You got answers from them about a state of emergency. We've heard other things from other people, but they haven't said anything to us said one rideshare driver. And so News 3 contacted Nevada Department of uh, Nevada Transportation Authority, which ensures rideshare companies are following the rules. So what Uber was doing was overcharging the shit out of all these people, not allowing these people to even have money to tip these drivers all weekend. Now, had they left the right amount of money to tip, if they charged people the right amount, drivers would have been tipped all weekend. It would have came out pretty good. But if they were charging people 107, what they said, 175 dollars, that means that I bet that that driver never got tipped because if you pay 175 dollars, this rider's probably getting like 30, 40 dollars out of the trip. But see, Uber turned around, refunded 128. 
So that ride was only about $50 is what it should have been. If no surge was attached, 50 bucks. And the driver should have got around about $30, $40 out of that. Probably got a tip out of that. But instead, they're saying riders weren't, the drivers weren't compensated incorrectly. Only the riders got overcharged. So I wonder what these riders were even, I mean, drivers were even paying. And that's the shit is like, people got to follow up with these damn things. Because Uber would have let this shit fly. They would have overcharged all these people. These people would have never said shit about it. Drivers been complaining about it, saying, how in the hell are we not getting surge prices, but you charging all these customers all this money? And it took for drivers to contact the news in order for Uber to say, oh, oh, there was a, a technical issue on the on our end. It was a little technical issue. It wasn't no technical issue. They knew exactly what the fuck they was doing. They knew what they was doing. They was trying to get over on people. That's what they do. So they sat up there, overcharged all these people. A lot of drivers probably didn't get no tips. Riders turn around and get huge refunds back to them. Drivers are still underpaid. The drivers are probably still sitting around going, we didn't get our due for the amount of time we sat in that traffic. For the type of rides these were, we did not get our due. Understand you can't charge surge pricing, but we still should have been paid something for all that crazy ass traffic. Gave some bonuses, a $15, $20 bonus for picking up anybody from the damn concert. Give us a bonus or something. But you can't do base fares from a concert, even if there is no surge pricing. There has to be some type of bonus applied to that shit. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Ain't nobody sitting around getting no $14, $15 an hour from a concert. They could just go do regular rides and make $40, $50 an hour all over town. Like I said, these, these apps, man, they, they got caught up. So then they got something where you can go through and it says to encourage riders and drivers to contact their with any complaints, you click this here. And it brings up the Nevada Department of Business. So you can file a complaint. They got this whole form here. You can file a complaint right here with the state of Nevada. Or you can hand deliver the complaint over on, you know, 3300 West Sahara, Suite 200, or 1755 East Plum, Plum Lane, Suite 229 in Reno. So you can actually go and submit a form saying whether or not you got overcharged, underpaid. You can make a complaint officially with the state of Nevada. So I don't know. It's all right there. Like I said, you got to go to the uh, channel three or whatever. Go look at channel three and you can pull up that whole article on channel three news out there in Vegas and it'll news three. And you can probably get paid for what just happened. You could probably get paid because all these people, man, some shit went down. I actually got a video you can actually watch. I'm going to see something. Let's see if they let, let it play. Nah, it's going to be ads and shit. I ain't worried about all that. It's too much for me. I ain't done with that shit. Yeah, but. Like I said, you can go to this article and read this shit because something major is going down with all these concerts. That's why I've been hammering on this shit so much because when I went out the other night and drove that concert, I knew something did not seem right. Shit was not right. With the fares we was getting, with the way traffic was all convoluted, with the way it was just, it was a complete clusterfuck. Something was not right. And it's been three, four days later in two cities, people are still complaining about it because something was not right about all of that. Now, they got the Beyonce coming up for the next three days in Los Angeles. I know they got the hurricane out there and everything, too. They probably got a state of emergency going on. I wonder how it's all going to play out out there, especially with the, the crazy traffic, the infrastructure of how, you know, L.A. concerts go and things like that, and Uber not paying surge pricing. I mean, people are going to be basically doing concerts at $24 to $40 an hour when normally we're making $90 to $100 an hour doing concerts just based on time and traffic. And... It might be a cash ride weekend. It might be one of them weekends where people say, you know what? The apps can't charge surge pricing, so we can't make surge pricing, but I'll take you and your party home for 50 bucks because Uber's only going to pay me $15. Lyft's only going to pay me $15. I'll do it for 50. Oh, well, Uber and Lyft is charging, you know, 45 for this ride. Well, normal nights, this ride is probably worth about, you know, 90 on a concert, 90. I'll do it for 50. Well, we're going to try to use Uber and Lyft. Knock yourself out. Hopefully you get a ride because ain't nobody doing $15 rides in crazy traffic. Nobody's doing $15 rides from concerts for 45 minutes of driving. Nobody's doing that. Plus in L.A., please, ain't nobody doing that. So they need to figure out some way to compensate drivers. Don't overcharge riders for what's going on, but compensate drivers for what's fair for the amount of time they got to deal with, the amount of traffic they got to deal with. They can figure it out because if these executives are making millions and millions of dollars in bonuses, you can take care of a group of damn drivers in the city. 
I mean, don't act like you can't. And these motherfuckers will sit up there and say that, well, we don't have enough money in the coffers for that. But they throwing out bonuses left and right. Here's a $4.5 million bonus, $3.2 million bonus. But you can't take care of a group of drivers over a weekend? Man, miss me with that shit. I know these companies got money. We know these companies got money. But yet, they're going to look out for the riders. They're not going to look out for the drivers. I'm telling you, I need to check that shit.